Hello and welcome to a brand new synth soundset walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. It's a special one today, special. Um, I've been being The Unfinished for 10 years now, so I'm having my 10th anniversary summer sale come up and I thought I'll release something special just for that. And this is what we're going to look through today. It's called the 10th anniversary collection, somewhat imaginatively. And what it is, is 10 sounds for 10 synths for £10. Yes, nice marketing. Um, yeah, so I've taken 10 of my favourite synths, made 10 sounds for each of them, and you get them all, all 100 sounds, for just 10 of your Earth pounds, or whichever currency you use. So, um, I've been ill, which is why it's taken me so long to <laughs> even kick off my summer sale and get round to doing this damn video. Um, but enough about that. We're going to whiz through. I haven't even set up my camera today. I'm still sort of recovering and I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible so I can actually do my sale. So forgive the slight um, simplicity of today's video, but we're just going to go through all the sounds, very quickly playing through them, not too much nattering. And let's kick off with the diva section of the 10th anniversary collection. Very bass to start with. There's lots of bass lines and pads, basically. Like I say, we're going to fairly whiz through them today. That's what this video is about. Whizzing. What will? So there's nothing um, to sort of tie all the sounds together thematically. I just made a hundred sounds from scratch, especially for this. Uh, just had some fun, basically. So it's cinematic, it's electronic, it's ambient. There's a bunch of stuff going on, basically. And hence why we're going through them quite quickly, because I can't really sort of speak too much about the uh, the influences and inspiration. But I hope I've got all your favourite synths in here. These are... I wouldn't say they're definitely my top 10 favourite synths, but, you know, all of them are going to be in the top 15, I'd say. And of course, my particular favourites are definitely there. Most of my top 10 is here. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to do some kind of weird synth World Cup to find out. There's a thought. And I think, I think that's the 10, isn't it? So there you go. That was a very quick whiz through Diva. Now we're going to switch over to uh, Jada Reitz. Um, and again, we're starting off with a bass line. Of course we are. Do 
Generators very quickly become one of my favourite synths, just because it's got something different, hasn't it? And it surprises me how much I like it, because <clears throat> obviously it's got that West Coast Buckler kind of vibe to the, the way it works, and... I hate most of the sounds that come out of booklets <laughs> for some reason, but uh, maybe it's just the way people are using them. Should be to fold in here. weirdness and then the final generate patch now this brings us on to hive now I've never released anything to, for hive as well you know um, I was planning to for a while and then when I went back into it, I didn't like it very much so <laughs> so it's and then Hive Two came out, and so at some point we'll have to um, do something with it. It's about it's about finding what I feel Hive can do that I'm not really doing with the other synths, I guess. Because I do like Hive. I mean, Hive sounds great. Um, I just need to um, find some sort of avenue for using it. So here's a start with some ten ten patches that um, hopefully you've enjoyed. Baseline as per usual. Let's see what the module does. That's a bit of intensity, basey bass. Your sort of classic um, synth sounds hive just just does some really punchily and uh, um, economically, I would say. <laughs>
lots of unison soul tooth. Hive has a lovely sequencer, so that's definitely something that's pretty cool. My friend Aravan, um, Uwe Zan, does a brilliant Hive sunset that you definitely want to check out, particularly if you like um, sequenced, loopy stuff. And then it's the final one, it is. My brain does work sometimes. Super, so that's the Hive section. Say farewell to little Mr. Hive. And uh, no, or, or not. Successfully clicked on the wrong thing there. Um, so we'll move on with Omnisphere. Now, I haven't released anything for Omnisphere for ages, and I really need to sort that out. But in the meantime, here is 10 new <laughs> Omnisphere patches courtesy of the 10th anniversary collection. This should creep you out nicely. in alphabetical order, so we'll go through different sections. Yeah, the reality is I just haven't used on this for in such a long time, so I need to get back into it, really. I've got three or four sound sets that I'll begun. I've begun, is that a good way of saying it? That I've started. Um, all of them fairly a long way away from completion, but I need to get at least one of them done, ideally, probably for the beginning of 2023, because I'm not going to fit it in for the end of this year that much. I know. But if you are missing having Omnisphere stuff released, um, I do recommend uh, my friend um, Stefan Bar, Stefan Bear. Sorry, Stefan, I don't know exactly how to pronounce your surname. Um, who releases stuff under Sonic Underworld, which is often released um, via Luftrum's page. Um, he's done one a little while ago um, called Pandorum, which is fucking incredible, and I totally and utterly recommend you get it. Whilst you're waiting for me to do something new. I mean, you can always comment below about what you'd like to see from me from this sphere. Let's try that model. Sounds like that, probably. Fun. Nice base there. Telescopus 2, what is this strange thing? <laughs>
Okay, now what do we have here? Big noise. The knowledge. Do we have the knowledge? <laughs> oh, yes, it's got the middle. Uh, oh, yes, I like this one. There's Omnisphere, so let's move on to something else I've not released anything for, and let's hit the right keys this time so that it don't stop recording accidentally. Uh, pigments. Um, a lot of you are very positive about it. Uh, I must admit it um, takes me a long time to just have a little play with it, and this is essentially what I've done here. I've, this, these ten sounds are basically my first attempts at fiddling with it, so um, they might be a little bit rusty, but I've found some interesting things. Whether pigments is something I want to release a whole sound set for yet, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it feels in a way a little bit like a kind of more efficient, lightweight version of Omnisphere in, in some respects, but at the same time, is it different enough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, the jury's out, but hopefully you'll like what I've done here, and if you do fancy um, a sound set for pigments, and likewise for Hive, which I haven't released before, um, again, comment below, let me know. Uh, we've got macros over here. It does have that kind of workstation kind of vibe, which is quite quite fun. So it is quite digital, but you can do some interesting stuff with it. Like this. Could do with a few more filters. I mean, the granular synthesis uh, section is obviously one of its strengths. And you do have a lot of different ways you can fiddle with the sound, which I haven't delved into as much as perhaps I should have. There were definitely a few elements I struggled to find how they worked at the beginning. Um, I think I've got some kind of element of what's going on back. This, now this was the first patch I ever made with um, pigments.
So I instantly knew you could get good sounds out of it, just... <laughs> uh, it's taken me a while to get there, I think. I think the organic stuff is probably my favourite sort of vibe from this. It's interesting though, because it's organic, but um, pigment, I, you may disagree with me, I find pigment sound very digital. Um, so having organic elements with, with digital um, controls is, um, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting vibe. The last pigment sound. So this works both as a sequence and an arc. <laughs> nice and squirrely. Okay, so let's move on to some slightly more familiar ground, which is Repro 1. All your pro one loveliness. So we start with an ARP, not a bass line for change. Exciting. Must do another sense of this. <laughs> nice bit of Clyde on there. Uh, yeah, I've got a couple begun. Um, it's finding the time slot, everything in, and not going mad. Sometimes you can have too many ideas and it all becomes a bit overwhelming, really. But rest assured, I have a ton of unreleased stuff that just needs a bit of sorting, really. And then, of course, I'll do my usual thing of I'll pick a, a sound set collection and I'll go, actually, uh, I need a few more sounds like this, that, and the other, and then suddenly I've got twice as many sounds as I actually needed, because I'm a dickhead. Is this the last one? Oh no, two more yet. sound. I do like the harmonics in here. Really cool. Oh, it is a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing. Then Repro 5. Doop-de-doo. Oh, my first doop de doo of the uh, video. That's not bad. 25 minutes in. Uh, so, a little bass line done with the LFOs. Nice little unpredictable edge in there. Lovely analog sound.
you'll have to apologise, my playing's a bit shit today. I mean, it normally is shit, but it's extra shit today because I've accidentally left my QWERTY keyboard in front of my, um, my Arteria key step. And also because I'm not using my my uh, camera to film myself during this part of the video, I've got my microphone in such a position that I can't actually see the keyboard I'm playing. <laughs> what a twat. So I'm essentially playing blind, which is why everything's played on the white notes. Nice kind of ethnic lead there. Even though Repro 5 has the polyphony that Repro 1 doesn't have, I still prefer Repro 1 for some reason. A pad like that. Mm. Yummy. And how many more do we have here? Two more. Soundscape, which is not something I often do with Repro 5. Pulsing kind of thing. There's a sequence with the other phrase. It's technically we use this as a gated pad as well. <laughs> Which is a little tricky to time. Okay, that was Repro 5. Well, we're hurtling towards the end now, aren't we? So now we've got serum. Ah, lovely serum. Give me wave tables. Lovely job, mate. <laughs> Absolutely mashes it, love it. Yes, yes, yes. Calm down. So Serum will be my next Sunset release as it happens. Um, I've got a bit of a cyberpunky thing coming. Um, hopefully that'll be September-ish, I think. Lovely. <laughs> Bit ravey, that one. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to releasing that one because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I just need to nail which ones are going into the release because I've done far too many sounds again. Of course I have. Hmm. 
It's nice and subtle, that one. We don't mind a bit of subtlety, do we? No. I probably ought to do a brand new skin for the next one, yeah. That's something I hadn't thought about. That does take a little while. Let me come up with an idea first. Sorry about that. Well, that's fun. Let's play that again. mad kind of tenet style sequence. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why I did that. I was checking something and I shouldn't do it in these videos. Right. Um, <laughs> Dozy tit. And then we're going to finish strongly with the two zebra synths, my beauties. Baseline. Been using Zebra and Zebra H said a lot on some bespoke work recently, which um has pushed me in some interesting new directions, which I hope to share with you in a future sound set at some point. The techniques I've been doing. HZ to get a really nice analog sound out of Zebra. Gorgeous. <laughs> nice bit of madness 
there. Uh, is this the last one? And finally, it wrong button again. Correcto, stupido, personal. Nice dip in the audio. Oh, <laughs> what a twat! Right, so oh god, here we go then. Buckley up. This is more like it. Nice. <laughs> That's my kind of bass line. And for those of you wondering, the Zebra 2 sounds and the Zebra H Z sounds are completely new, different, separate sounds, no copies um, or variations thereof, as you would get in my normal Zebra senses. You can get some crazy stuff just with one oscillator. Oscillator! Oh my goodness, I am tired, aren't I? Oscillator. going a bit stir crazy because uh, I'm home alone for the first time in who knows how long probably since um, my first child was born six and a half years ago um, I'm supposed to be having a trip down to London this weekend but because I've been ill I've stayed at home whilst the girls have gone without me and yeah my house is really quiet <laughs> but it's allowing me to do this without any kind of interruption so that's something Twinkly soundscape. Let's have a look and see what the module does. <laughs> Changes the flickering. And I think we've got two more sounds, have we? Yep. A couple of sequences to finish off with. Glassy pulse. Nice minor kind of thing. And there you go, we've played through a hundred sounds, hundred brand new sounds um, made specifically for this sound set, not just cobbled together from other things. 
as, as you might possibly wonder about. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's it's simple. It's just a hundred new sounds to play with for just a tenor, which is pretty pretty cheap. And um, just showcasing a bunch of my favourite synths, really. Uh, yeah, so that's it. The summer sale is going to be kicking off on very soon. Uh, I don't know the exact date in my head um, because my head isn't really working at the moment, or well, the brain bit of it. Um, as you can tell, the uh, the mouth's still working, but um, not the thing that projects the words out of it. Uh, yeah, so lots of fun. Um, it's going to be my biggest ever um, summer sale, so it's going to be 50% off everything except for the most recent releases, Diva, Anahera, and Generate Noir. They're not included in the sale. This sound set isn't included in the sale either, but it's only a tenor, so, you know, what can you possibly be complaining about? And also, it wouldn't have worked, would it? If there was then 50% off, it would have been 10 for 10 for 5, which is just stupid. Um, anyway, <laughs> yes, so um, so summer sale for two weeks. This sound set's going to be available until the end of the year, so um, it's not going to be... I'll take it down uh, as of December the 31st or January the 1st, whichever. Um, depends on your time zone, I guess. Uh Yes, so pick it up before the end of the year, otherwise you'll never have these sounds again. Uh, and what else? Oh yes, and in the summer sale I've also launched a red bubble shop with the unfinished merchandise. Um, so if you've ever wanted a, the unfinished t-shirt or a mug or a sticker or um, what else? There, coasters, stuff, um, badges, um, all that stuff <laughs> is now available. Um, it's uh, it's just a bit of fun. I make pennies on it, um, so it's just if you want it. I mean, no pressure, um, and I won't take it personally if you don't. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Apologies for my brain, and uh, I'll see you all soon for a much more professional video. Um, with my next serum sound set, which will hopefully be in a few weeks' time. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your summer. Have a lovely holiday if you are going, if you've already been. Hope it was smashing. Um, kids back to school soon. Hooray! <laughs> and um, Anyway, yes, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm babbling now. And I will see you. Uh, and enjoy the summer sale. Buy lots of stuff, please. Thanks. Bye.